Hello there, it's morning. Uh, this is uh, a view, uh, movie that we wanted to make on the manipulation of a uh, combination lock. And I read a book, and I won't mention any names right now, but the combination I wanted to do had, had to do with the sentry safe. And I couldn't buy the uh, combination lock separately, so I actually bought a sentry uh, safe, which uh, is really pretty good. Uh, when we first opened it, um, it had uh, quite a bit of dust and stuff like that in it. So we had to clean it up and stuff. And uh, what we wanted to show you on this video is uh, finding the combination on the third wheel. And as you can see, it has a lot of little fault sets in it. The book I bought... Um, in red, uh, they had uh, a little older Century Safe that had 10 fault sets. This one actually has 11, and then the true one is 12. So what we done is we started off, uh, and uh, we used some of their techniques. We uh, went left, and as you go left, hopefully uh, you pick up all three wheels. There's... Uh, Third wheel is the farthest away from the face of the safe dial. Second wheel is the next one in and the first wheel. And the one we're going to concentrate on is this one right here, the third wheel. So we got them all spent and went to zero. And then we started our manipulation on the third wheel. And you can find a combination by going either direction. But we happen to go left. And uh, what we've done is, instead of recording this, what you're going to do is you put a little pressure on this. And you'll find right there is a false set right there. And so we look at the number, and it's 0 and 98.5, uh, which gives us a spread of about 1.5. So we... Record that on a piece of paper, and if I can get it out here, I'll show you. And uh, this is uh, rather crude, but uh, what we have here is uh, three wheels, and uh, we recorded, uh, this is not the one I'm looking for. Uh, let me get the other one. Sorry about that. And I'm um, having trouble finding it right now. Anyway, this will serve the purpose. And what we marked out here is we marked out 12 gates for the third wheel. And then we measured the difference uh, on the combination wheel of the spacing of that false gate. And we go all the way through until we find the true gate. In our case, the true gate had a separation of two or a little greater. And you see these false gates here, there is a separation of seven to eight. Uh, that's a one. There was a one and a half, one, one and a half. Until we got down to the true gate, which has separation of two. And you can see that. Uh, we had another chart because this one uh, we started charting the second trying to find the second wheel on it and we'll do a video on that on how to find the second wheel but anyway on this first gate we're uh, going uh, left right now so we found a gate right there and you can see we put a little pressure on the handle there's the gate right there okay and we measured uh 98.5 to 0, and then we lift that up, the handle, so we can turn past the 98 and a half, and we put the handle back down, and that's what we're doing is looking for the next gate, and there we got it right there, and we measured the distance on that, and it measured 92 and a little bit greater, 
to 90, 89.9 or so. And we mark that down. And it actually turns out to be the true gate. So when we get a widespread there, we mark it true gate. And you can go on and raise the handle back up a little bit and turn past that 98, put the handle back down, and you can see you find it another false gate. And what you do is go all the way around and make sure that uh, for the true gate, you're getting the spread of two, two and a half, three. False gates, you're going to get the spread of one to one and a half. And that pretty well wraps it up. That's how we find the combination for the third wheel. And in our case, it turned out to be uh, roughly uh, 92 or 92, I'm sorry, to about 89. So we use 90 as the combination for the third wheel. And then when we uh, show uh, later on, we'll show how to find the second wheel. And once you find the second wheel, then you, uh, to find the third wheel, you dial in the, in two and a half increments uh, for finding the first wheel. Then you dial the combination for the combination you get for the second wheel. And then you dial the combination you get for the third wheel. And what we have done right here today is we found a combination for the third wheel, so that gives us one third of what we're looking for. And uh, we'll do another video to uh, find a second wheel, and I'll show you it a little bit. And hopefully, uh, be a little bit better organized. Uh, we had a chart where we uh, started at zero and we uh, dialed left, and you can dial left or right on finding the third wheel combination. The second wheel. You have to dial in the right direction because it has fixed flies on these uh, wheels and so you have to be dialing in the right direction to find the second wheel combination in the right direction to find the first wheel combination or otherwise they'll be off but anyway that pretty well wraps it up if you enjoyed this uh, give us a thumbs up uh, we'll go ahead and do another one uh, a day or two for the finding the second wheel combination um, that pretty well ends it uh, thank you for watching and give us a thumbs up if you like it we appreciate it